and welcome back to my channel. I've got a little quick project here tonight. Uh, this is going to be a Kigley racing mod to a uh, 6 bolt 4G63 oil pickup. Now what this mod does is it covers a portion, probably about two thirds of the oil screen on the 6 bolt 4G63 so that when you launch the car hard you don't end up uncovering part of the screen and end up sucking in oil, which uh, at high RPM just is not a good thing. So what Kevin from uh, Kigley Racing found out is, uh, I believe he said, anything below a 1.660 foot, uh, you can start seeing some, uh, some oil starvation with the 6-bolt pickup. So the simple solution to that is to take a small sheet of metal and cover portion of it. Um... So when you're, I'm basically standing in the front of the motor here and your oil pickup sits in the engine like this, your oil pump is at the rear of the, of the block. And so we want to cover all of this portion, but we also need to bend this plate a little bit and contour it so it can still get plenty of flow from the rear. And what I've done before is I leave. I start about an inch back from the from the edge here and I'm going to trace around it about a quarter inch larger than the plate of steel and then I'll cut that out and then we'll get into forming this piece and I'll show you how to form it so that you can have the most flow and still fit in your oil pan. So I'll cut that out and I'll be right back. Alright so I've traced it out as you can see and uh, I just rode the paint marker right around the edge so it leaves you know, a little more than an eighth of an inch wider than the pickup. So that way after we bend it, it's still going to follow the contour of this nicely and then we can weld it on and uh, should fit up really good. So I'm going to go cut this out now and I'll be right back. Alright, so I got my little three quarter moon, I guess you'd call it, uh, cut out here. So. I uh, sit this over top of it, and you'll see it's just a little bit larger than the surface of the screen. And I've gone clean my edges up. I'm going to be TIG welding this on. You want a nice clean welding process because, again, this is this is in your oil system. You don't want any pieces of weld or whatever going in your oil system. So. Even after you're done, take some brake clean, compressed air, clean this all up really good. So now we'll get into forming this. And what I did before is I just took a pair of regular pliers and started going all around the edge, putting a little, a little lip on it, just to raise this off of the surface a little bit. So I'll go ahead and try to do that. And all right, so I got step one done. I've made a nice lip all the way around, about three eighths of an inch in. Not a very sharp angle, not even 45 degrees. It's going to be a little bit bowed from bending, but that's no big deal because we're going to straighten that out afterwards. I just use these nice wide flat pliers. It doesn't take much, just a little, little bend all the way around the edge. So now step two, I'm going to come in, back in with the same pliers about halfway and fold it back the other way so that it's parallel with the, with the face. So, and then we'll have a nice lip to weld around. Ideally, we want it to be flat so that it meets up with this edge. We'll clean this off and give us a nice welding surface. Okay, after five, 10 minutes of playing around with this, this is about the shape you're looking for. So at the opening, you want about a quarter inch of space between your flanges, I guess we'll call them, and the opening and at the rear you'll taper down a little bit. So that little quarter inch gap here is going to provide plenty of flow for the engine and also clear the oil pan. There's maybe about three-eighths of an inch between the bottom of the pickup and the and the uh, inside of the oil pan. So you can't go very deep with this, uh, but that's that's just about right right there. So it takes a little while, just take your time. And you see this isn't perfect. But as I tack it in place, I will you know, clamp it, clamp it, spot weld it, clamp it, spot weld it, clamp it, spot weld it, so we get a nice flat seal 
all around the back edge here when, we, when I weld it. So this will sit like so and get welded on just like so. So you see if I can do this one handed with that extra quarter inch or so that I left on there. It's just about the perfect diameter to weld up to the pickup. And so that's basically what we're going to be left with. This is oriented like this in the motor and we want the opening right at the rear about an inch and you can see how much is open. This has a coating on it so you want to, if you're TIG welding this especially, you're going to need to clean this coating off and any oil residue, whatever, because it, you know, it's going to make a lot of stink. And uh, then I'll clean both parts and weld it on. So I guess this will be a better demo of exactly what I'm trying to show you. So I've got a six bolt here upside down. This would be the side against the firewall. And our little cover is going to sit exactly like that so that when you launch hard and the oil sloshes back, you can only suck oil from the back part of the screen and not up here where the oil may have uncovered part of it, getting air bubbles in your oil. Alright, so here I go, all tacked. I've got three tacks. I start with the back corner here. I'm not going to touch that, that's hot. And, and put pressure down on it until it's nice and flat against the rest of the rim. And a couple more tacks and now we'll go and weld all the way around the edge so we can't suck air from anywhere around there. I'll be back. So that's about all there is to it. Just make sure you have about a quarter inch of space between the screen and your, and your plate. So that should clear the oil pan fine. Any higher than that and you risk hitting the bottom of the oil pan and having issues putting on your oil pan, obviously. So after that, just give this thing a good clean up. Uh, you know, clean out inside and out. Go on any crap in your oil. And then uh, you can get this bolted on. Roughly like so. And the opening will be at the back of the motor. And hopefully that will, uh, you know, a couple minutes here will prevent any downtime in the future from oil starvation. So that's how you do the Kigley Racing oil pickup mod on a 6-bolt. Simple as that. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and hit the like if you like it. If not, uh, go watch somebody else. <laughs> I don't really care. Enjoy.